What is up, hi, it's is Noli here, and welcome to Mask of the Day episode 177. Today we are finally getting around to taking a look at the Gage Assault Pack masks. This is Professor Wrath, and on the whole, these masks are absolutely awesome. I'm a huge fan of additional effects on masks, and the diamond-shaped light on the forehead is excellent and changes colour depending on the palette you choose. So, an awesome looking mask, but I'm sorry I've been a little slow to upload this video because I actually lost my voice doing the Gage Assault Pack weapon reveal. Strangely enough, that really put me out for making videos until now, so I'm a couple of days late, but hopefully we can make up for lost time as I upload a bunch of stuff from the Gage Assault Pack. This is the first one, and let's turn around and look at the first mask. So, the material of choice is the electric on the Professor Wrath, the pattern then is the hexagon circle and finally the solid blue color will bring out this strange purpley color on the forehead. Next up we have the black metal material and with that we have the bugger pattern which came out in I believe the gauge sniper pack DLC and finally we have the navy blue and steel blue I believe colors to make this awesome looking mask. Again depending on the colors you choose and how they cover the light, you'll get different colors out of it to get completely different looking masks depending on your color of choice. And I really like that. I like color to be a huge influence on the mask itself. So, as I said, a really nice looking set of masks. Unfortunately, the achievements do let them down in my opinion. Um, this one was the easiest to obtain, just get 200 kills with the Clarion rifle. Um, but other than that, some of them are a little bit tedious. Things like shooting 10 cloakers with a specific weapon and killing them is a pain simply because you, if you're playing with friends and they're all trying to do this achievement, it's going to take a very long time. And I'm not a huge fan of those sort of slightly tedious achievements that we had moved away from in the past, but unfortunately have gone back to again. And also, when you unlock these masks, you don't actually unlock the pattern and material at the same time. You have to do completely separate challenges for that. But all the achievements carry more weight now, and there's a lot more reason for you to try and get out there and do them. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed Mask of the Day episode 177. Stay tuned on the 8th of September as my new internet arrives, and I can finally start streaming again. And on top of that, the GL40 video is going to be coming out very soon, and it's going to be a live first impressions of the weapon. I've already recorded it and I hope you guys will enjoy it. See you all in the next one.